Now once upon a time there was a house, and in the house there was a man, and in the house there was a woman. And all they had in all of this world was one cow and one sheep. And one day the old man woke up and he stretched, and he looked at the old woman and said, It's your turn to go and look after the cow. And the woman said, No, I'm always looking after the cow. You ought to do it. It's not me, it's you. And he said yes, and she said no, and no, and yes, and yes, no, 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 yes. And they argued and nobody went out and looked after the cow. Now the next morning the woman woke up and she stretched. And she looked at the old man and said, It's your turn to go and look after the sheep. And the old man said, No, I always have to do everything. And she said, No. And he said, Yes, and yes, and no, no, and yes, and yes, no, 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 and yes. And nobody went out and looked after the sheep. On the next day, the old woman woke up and she stretched. And she looked at the old man and said, I want you to go out and go and get us some food. And the old man said, Yes. Yes, said the old woman. Oh, yes, said the old man. I'm tired of us always fighting. And out he went and out through the door. And when he went out, he started to pull potatoes from out of the ground and carrots and parsnips and all kinds of good things. And as he was pulling them out of the ground, he heard a voice shout, Help me! And he looked over there. And he looked up and he looked down and he looked over there. And there in the mud he could see that there was a little woman with a golden crown upon her head, a golden dress and silver boots and diamonds all over, and she was shouting, Help me! And the old man knew exactly who she was. He knew that she was the queen of the fairies. And if he helped her, she would have to give him one, two, three magic wishes. So he stepped into the mud. And he stepped in again. And he grabbed hold of the little woman with the golden crown and the silver dress and the diamonds all over. And he pulled her out of the mud, but he fell in the mud with a great big splash. And he had mud on his nose, and mud in his hair, and mud in his pockets, and mud all over. But the little woman said, thank you, thank you, thank you. You helped me, and I'm going to give you one, two, three magic wishes. Have you got lots of cows? And the old man said, ha! Do I look like I've got lots of cows? I've only got one cows. And the little woman said, well, you could use one wish to wish for cows. Have you got lots of sheep? And the old man said, ah, do I look like I've got lots of sheep? I've only got one sheep. And the little woman said, well, you could use one of the wishes to wish for sheep. Have you got a wife? And the old man said, oh, yes, I've got a wife. And we're always arguing. Well, the little woman with a crown on her head and a golden dress and silver boots and the diamonds all over said, I'm not going to give the wishes to you. I'm going to give them to your wife. So you'd better go home and see what she wishes for. As soon as the old man went back in through the door, his wife said, where have you been? He said, you'll never believe it, but I met the queen of the fairies and she's given me, no, she's given you one, two, three magic wishes. I don't believe you said the old woman. It's true, it's true, it's true as can be. True for you and true for me. Wish for something and see what you can see. The old woman said, I wish, I wish, I wish that I could have a fire in the hearth and on the fire there'd be a pan and in the pan there'd be a sausage. There was a rushing sound and there was a rattling sound And there was a great big crash. And down the chimney there came a fire. And on the fire there was a pan. And in the pan there was a sausage. The old man started to dance around. You see, you see, it's true as can be. True for you and true for me. And as he danced around, he knocked the pan over. And the sausage went down onto the ground. The old woman, she went, Oh, you, you silly old man. You've knocked the sausage on the ground. Ah! I wish, I wish, I wish that the sausage could be your nose. (gasps) And no sooner had she said it than there was a rushing sound. And there was a rattling sound. 
And there was a great big crash. And the sausage slipped and slithered and stuck on the end of the old man's nose. And he went, look what you've gone and done. You've made my sausage into a nose. You've only got one wish left. You'll have to wish for my nose to be back the way it was and wish for the sausage off my nose. And the old woman said, No, you could stay inside of the house and I could wish for gold and silver and diamonds and a new house and cows and sheep. And the old man started to cry, You can't leave me with a sausage for my nose. She went over to his nose that was a sausage and grabbed hold of it and she pulled and the old man went ow you can't pull my nose off he went and he sat down the old woman sat in front of him and she couldn't stop herself he did look funny with a sausage for her nose and she went <laughs> oh, look at you with a sausage for a nose. Oh, stop laughing at me. She said, oh, all right. And she said, I wish, I wish, I wish that the sausage would come off the end of the old man's nose. And there was a rushing sound. And there was a rattling sound. And there was a great big crash. And the sausage came off the end of the old man's nose. And it slipped and slithered and crept and crawled and rolled itself up into a big pile on top of the table. And the old woman sat down and the old man sat down and she cut some sausage for him and she cut some sausage for her. But before they ate it, the two of them went. To think that all they'd got for the three magic wishes was sausage for their tea. And the next day, the old man said, Would you come and help me to look after the cow and the sheep? And the old woman said, Yes. And the two of them lived happily ever after.